Hey buddy, it's Fitzy for New Star, and this is just gonna this is just gonna be an update to the video. Uh, not exactly a tutorial. It's just hey, this is what I'm doing. I'm still continuing on the series, but uh, the next couple I know next couple of days I will be like seriously busy doing outside non YouTube uh, or tutorial related stuff. So don't think that I'll be like not doing it I will be doing it I just don't have the time to actually put a full length tutorial video up I will actually do that this is just to tell you guys that I may be gone for like not gone but you know I'll be away from the computer for like three whole days or in ser like like really knocked out on um meds or something I've got a huge I got like a sinus infection and I got work and I'm like really really knocked out and and then I on top of that I don't get much sleep and I've been doing uh, building the tutorials <clears throat> so I'm almost done with the next tutorials uh, episode I may just you know suck up and do the episode but I don't want to make it s seem like you know I'm doing a bad job of it so I want to show you what I've been doing um, as you can see, our I'm actually going to put I'm actually going to put this in a download download link so you can see what I've been doing. Uh, it's not too much, but it's uh, it's a lot of process of converting 3D models into 2D, and that's another reason why you may not see a video up for like three days ish. Is that I am rendering 3D models, c taking the sprites, editing them. Uh, so you render a 3D object into a 2D object. It's a sprite. Make sure they all work and then actually put it into the game and make sure it doesn't overload the engine. <clears throat> so as you know, there's going to be four levels. Um, and here's our layout. So we have the intro vid layout. That's basically uh, the intro of the studio logo. And then I'm going to put the intro in animated scene. Another reason why it's, I have decided to wait three days is the fact that I'm animating a... Um, a movie intro convert it into a gif image and then I think from gif uh, either load it as a gif image into the um, engine or you know convert it into sprites and add a overlay audio of voices and all that stuff so that's what I will be doing with the intro video then we hit the menu this is the menu and we can hit play so we have castle defense, play, pause, and all that stuff. The music, the edit button, I've almost decided what I'm going to do with it. I think it may just be an audio thing um, or a temporary pause button. I'm actually going to, or I think it's just audio because I'm actually going to have a pause button inside the game. So in case, hey, your mom calls or hey, you know, you need to get to a class or, you know, something weird or crazy or you know whatever you have a pause button and then you have a go back to menu button all that stuff so I'll talk about that later in the actual tutorial so we have our play button we have our uh, first level and then it takes a while to load up because this is a huge freaking level and it only shows like a fraction of it I'll show you the, like the full level this is the whole level um, Again, it's really, really huge. So actually, what I'm going to do is take the size of this, size of it, and then our layout position. Let's see one moment. Let's view window size. There we go. So when we run it, you'll actually see like the whole entire level. So let's intro. Okay, we didn't need that. Um, menu. Okay, we do have an issue with that. 
Okay, I'll work on that later. Like I said, I haven't been feeling epically awesome. Um, so, yeah. Okay, now I'm going brain dead. Okay, so this is the level. It's actually pretty large. It's approximately 6, um, it was actually square-ish. So it was actually 6,000 by 8,000, if I'm right, pixels. So it's a really, really large HD picture. HD picture. So when you view it on your screen at different resolutions, it still should be pretty good until you zoom in really close. And then you start seeing pixels. But yeah, you can... It should be like viewable like here, and then you can see the enemies come um the enemies will come in from the south, they'll move up, and then your castle will be over here. I'm actually gonna show you how I made this image in Sculptress, moved it to Blender, converted it to a two d image, and then imported it into construct resized it, and boom, this button here will actually pop up a um an inventory. Not really an inventory, but a like a building creation guide or a you know inventory of buildings that you can create. So that's gonna be a tower with arrows, a tower a tower with you know cannonballs, a tower with flame balls. Then we're gonna have like a a wizard's cauldron that's gonna fire fire and you know weird spells and all that stuff. And I may put one more building. Um, and then we're gonna, I have enemies, uh, orcs, flying enemies and all that stuff, so you'll see them come across and then you'll get attacked. This is actually pretty short because it's only supposed to deal with, like, 20 enemies or a whole bunch of the same type of enemy, and then the next level we add a different enemy. Um, so it's not meant to be, like, you know, hey, your first level, you hit, you know, the hardest level, or the hardest level in the game. Um, hardest setting in the game, excuse me. So that's what I've been doing. That's what I'm doing. I'm currently, you know, fixing bugs and adding new features and um, dealing with my sinus problems and getting about to go to work. So I will see you guys a little bit later. I just wanted to show you what I've been doing, telling you that yeah, it is a you know I really want a professional process to the game so that it, it does look good it looks like you know you put on Android or iOS or construct 2 people will like it people will enjoy it people will say yeah this you know this it's not, probably not a five-star game probably not a four-star game it's just probably a three-star game but you know that's more than just one star I maybe mean, pe people will say hey this is really cool um, you know it's a four-star game or whatever um, but yeah I just wanted to show you what I've been doing, what I will be implementing. Um, I'll be implementing, if you watched my dog days, you'll see that I have the almost same level selection. Hold on, wrong thing I clicked on. So we have a, a regular, first level will be always unlocked. Then we have a locked, then we have a one star, two star, three star. So it's basically... Um, your castle has more than 50% of its health, or more than, uh, let's see, more than 75% of its health. You get it all three stars, you have more than 50%, but less than 75%, then you get two stars. You have, um, you know, more than zero, less than 50, you get one star. And if you're just between, you know, if you're like, uh, well, like, um, but yeah. And then you need, you need, I'm thinking about, you know, you'll need one, at least one star to pass to get into the next level, to unlock the next level. Or you'll need uh, more than 50% um, to unlock the level, the next level. So um, I've been working on that. And then, yeah, enemies from Unity 3D. So, so these are the towers. These are from BitGem. Um, and then I have, let's see if I can find some of the enemies, yeah, here's one enemy, so I'm actually going to pop him into the scene, let's do a night one, a purple one, so we got this one, then we had different type of coloring, so I'm gold, some sort of gray, some sort of red, so, yeah, I got this one, then I have an orc, um, 
some sort of orc dude. Let's go to him. And then yeah, these guys will be animated and all that stuff and you'll 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 see the top down version of it, so um let's go to that. So you'll see his head. And then you'll see the monster bat's head. So you'll see them. Probably maybe more of an angle. So yeah, you can see more of the creature that's attacking your place. Uh the castle. But yeah, that's what I'll be doing and I will then see you guys later. Um Let's see. Let's check those out. Let's check these out from top down. Yeah, that that'll be that'll be pretty good. Um, so yeah, didn't mean to make it too long, and I will see you guys in the next video, which should be the tutorial, which should be coming up two to three days. I would like to have at least one whole enemy, you know, done, and then we'll be getting onto the actual towers, and then AI, and then pathfinding and all that stuff which shouldn't be too hard and then we'll add in you know special effects for the menu and your tower shooting and all that stuff so I'll see you in the next video my apologies if you don't see a video for the next three days to a week or whatever I'm just you know busy ill and I hope you understand so see you later guys bye